one of the Shiva saints who made prayer to Lord Shiva very popular was Puranyanasamundar. You know one incredible fact about him? He was just 16 years old. And yet, we uh, remember him to this day for making uh, Shiva worship very, very well known. And for some of you who would have heard about Thirunyana Sambandal, you would also have heard of his first few famous words, which is Thodu Deya Sevian. And what is the story behind it? And how did this become uh, a story by itself? Let's find out now. So many years back, actually many, many centuries back, uh, we're talking about 7th century CE, which is 1300 years back. There was this town in uh, Tamil Nadu called Sirgari. Now, if you look at the map here, you see Chennai right on top in the northernmost part of Tamil Nadu. And that's, uh, uh, that's the capital city of Tamil Nadu. And going a little south of Chennai, you will meet Kadalur. Kadalur is a coastal town. Now, a little further south, you will see Sirgari over here. <clears throat> It's not coastal, but it's close to the coast. Now, Sirgari was very famous even in those days, very revered for uh, many temples and many saints. And in that town, in that town in uh, Sirgari, there was this couple called Sivapadahritayar and Bhagwadiyar, very pious couple. And after intense devotion and prayer to Lord Shiva, they were blessed with a son whom they named Samandan. So Samandan as a child was very, you know, very um, uh, naughty and he enjoyed his time with his parents. Around two and a half to three years old, he was, um, he wanted to go with his father on his rounds. And his father is a priest in the nearby temple. And he was very adamant one fine day saying, I have to come with you to the temple. And his father said, okay, come with me. And so he takes young Sambandan along with him to the temple. And uh, now the temple um, is uh, Lord Shiva, is the presiding deity of the temple, and uh, his name is Toniyappar. And the temple had a beautiful tank. So in those days before they enter the, um, the, the God's sanctum, inner sanctum, they will take a dip in the pool over there. And so Sivapada uh, took Sambandan and had him seated over there on the, um, steps of the tank, the pond, and uh, he went in to take a dip. So this pond is called the Brahma He, uh, This is where they take the dip and he goes in to take, uh, to clean himself. And uh, Sambandhan is sitting and playing by the uh, uh, steps. When he looks around, he sees that his father has gone under the water and he starts crying. He's afraid as a young child. He doesn't know what to do. So he starts crying. Amma, Appa, he's piteously crying. And it is said that the universal father and mother, right, up there, Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati, they heard him. And they came down hearing the child's cries. And our Parvati Devi, she takes Ambandan on his lap like a as a child, as a mother would do to a child and feeds him a cup of milk, um, a golden cup having milk. And the child, Samandan, drinks it. You know, he's been pacified by mother herself. And so he happily drinks the milk. And once he's calm, Parvati leaves the place. And all that is left there is Samandan standing over there with, you know, a milk mustache around his mouth and uh, having a very blissful, happy look on his face. So when a hungry child is uh, given food, you know that how sad, satisfied they are after a glass of milk, and that's what um, some of them looked like. But at that moment, Sivapada Hridayar comes out of the pond and wipes himself and comes and sees his son standing over there uh, with a look on his face and milk all around his mouth. And even in those days, you can't accept food from some stranger, right? And so Siva Padahradera was very angry. I have told you so many times, how can you take food from someone else? You shouldn't have done it. What did you drink? Who gave you what? And someone then is still standing over there. 
just having a blissful look on his face. And of course, Siddhapada Hridaya is a, is a dad also. And he gets very angry that his child is not listening to him. So he takes a stick like that and is about to beat, um, you know, give one whack to Sambandhan. When suddenly Sambandhan starts singing a song. A song of whom he actually saw. And so if you look at the picture over here, Sambandhan must have seen Shiva this way. And so he starts singing, Todudeya Seviyan. So Thod means the uh, earring. So he says the one who was wearing this Thod. Vidayeri or the one who is travelling on the bullock. And the one who has a moon on his head. And he starts describing Shiva completely. Now remember, Samandhan is just not even more than three years old. How can he sing all this? No one taught him this. And the usage of language, the Tamil language that he used, pure words... It was a miracle, obviously. And so the father was stunned. Sivapada Hridhar just dropped the stick and asked him, did you see Lord Shiva himself? And um, someone then goes on singing 10 lines. People nearby are already uh, coming and hearing his songs. And he starts walking towards the inner sanctum where Lord Shiva is. And his father very, very happily, he takes him and puts him on his shoulder like this and carries him uh, the rest of the way. And so there began the journey of Tirunayana Sambadar. As young as three years old, he started singing the praises of Shiva. And so that's how he got his name. Sambandan became Sambandar. It's a sign of respect, R, ending with R. And Jnana means wisdom. Since he drank from Parvati herself, the milk, he got wisdom. So that's Jnana. And Tiru is a title. So Tirunayana Sambandar was born that moment. And this young boy would go all around Tamil Nadu in a, as a pilgrimage, singing songs in so many different places. And coming back to our fact, he was only 16 years old when he passed on, when he uh, um, expired. But that 16 years of life, he gave 16,000 hymns to the world. And unfortunately, today we are left only with 400 of them. But it was a full life, 16 years. And so thus began one of the biggest moments of, uh, moment in Shiva history with Tiranyana Sambandha. Thank you.